Hello everybody, we are back here on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming hunting game that a lot of you may never have heard of. We've talked about it a little bit during the live streams as my brother brought this up to me recently and was showing me a lot of the stuff and I am very interested in what they're going to be doing with the game. Now, right now we're kind of looking at the home screen of the game and you guys may think, huh, that looks a little bit strange. That's not quite the, uh, main menu I'm used to seeing in hunting games. Well, it's because this is a mobile hunting game. And not only is it a mobile hunting game, it is by far going to be the best mobile hunting game ever released and most likely will be miles above every other mobile hunting game that is currently out because this game is actually going to be an open world hunting game with a lot of uh, cool stuff that really isn't typical of mobile games. This is going to be the closest thing to a game like uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild or the Deer Hunter series or the Hunter Classic as you could possibly get within a mobile phone. And that alone is going to be really cool. So I'm very excited to see how this game is going to be when it comes out. And we're definitely going to do a couple videos on it. And depending on how the replay value is, depending on whether or not the game is as good as what they've shown, then that will determine whether or not we actually make it a uh, mainstay on the channel. But we will at least do a few videos kind of covering everything in it and trying to just get to some of the content so we can figure out how good the game actually is. But from what we're seeing on their Facebook page, there is a lot of cool stuff that's going to be featured in this hunting game. And it definitely will be the best one on mobile phones as far as I can tell. Now, as with any hunting game, it does seem like you will be able to, like, purchase the currency, which I've never really been a big fan of that. I feel like there shouldn't be any pay-to-win aspects to games. But, I mean, it's a mobile game. We should expect it with mobile games. It's unfortunate, but it does seem like that is going to be a part of it. As to what extent, it's hard to say, as we don't really have a lot of info on that. But uh, if the developers want to reach out and kind of provide some more... I guess context to everything that I talk about throughout this video, I would be more than uh, willing to listen and uh, do a follow-up video kind of talking about all the stuff that they plan to do. Also, I will be linking their uh, Facebook page in the description because that is where all of these screenshots and videos will be coming from. Now, the first thing that we're looking at right now is a clip of them getting close to a mule deer buck. This is one of the most recent things that they posted, and they did want to state that this is not going to be a norm. You will not be able to get this close to the animals, and they typically will not die instantly like this one does right here. This was done just so that they could show off the uh, animations and also uh, the models for the mule deer and stuff like that. So they did have the senses turned down and one hit kill enabled, but this is going to be what the mule deer will look like in game. And honestly, that is really good for a mobile game. I bet you guys can already see why I am excited for this and why my brother has been excited for it as well. This appears like it's going to be an actually decent hunting game on mobile for once because we've for years just seen most mobile games be very arcade like and kind of just shooting galleries like the uh, deer hunter series but uh that's really not the type of hunting games that a lot of us that play the hunter call of the wild or games like that are really into we want the games that are open world, we want to be able to trophy hunt, and that's something else I'm kind of curious about. I wonder if they are going to implement like rares and non-typicals. We'll have to see, again, if uh, the developers happen to see this video. I would love uh, more insight as to whether or not that type of stuff is going to be a feature in the game. The next video that we're taking a look at right now actually shows off the elk and they are looking pretty decent as well. You know, it's pretty crazy to think that this is a mobile game and they've already got better animal models than a lot of hunting games that we've seen on PC. Uh, stuff like Hunting Simulator 2 unfortunately don't even compare to the elk models we're seeing here and they're like a, a full-fledged PC title. It's crazy to see that they have managed to pack such detail into a hunting game on mobile, which is really, like I said, something we've never seen before and really is amazing. I hope that they manage to get this game to have a decent bit of traction so that they can continue to develop it because I really think that if they continue developing this game over time, it could probably become one of the most popular hunting games on mobile and probably the most popular. I believe as of now, we have games like Hunting Clash and like I was saying earlier, the Deer Hunter series on mobile, but those are really the only like super notable hunting games and they are both very much like arcade shooting gallery style games and 
This is going to be quite different and a lot more like what we are used to having in games like Way of the Hunter, The Hunter Call of the Wild, The Hunter Classic, the games where you actually have to get out there and roam around to find your trophies. Now this game will also feature a mission mode as far as I am aware and uh, little challenges and stuff like that so it won't all be free hunting but that is going to be an option. And now we've got ourselves a little gif that they posted of the animations for uh, one of the bears dying from a one hit kill. Honestly, again, good animations for a mobile game. That is a really impressive uh, feat to be able to implement like good ragdolls with the animals from the uh, from getting shot like that. That actually is really good and really impressive for mobile. Again, I am just so excited to see what they can do with this as a lot of the stuff that they're showing is quite impressive for it being developed on a mobile platform and it is going to be available on iOS and Android. So you won't be uh, limited depending on what phone you own. You'll be able to get it on pretty much every device. Next, we've got ourselves the bison model as well as the death animation for it, which again looks really good. I have yet to see anything that doesn't look at least decent with this game. And again, this is super impressive for it all being done as a mobile hunting game. I, I feel like American Marksman is going to be probably one of the more popular hunting games on mobile. Now we've got some images of some of the different animal models. We've got the bighorn sheep, which uh, actually surprisingly looks better than Call of the Wild's bighorn sheep. I think they absolutely nailed it. Unfortunately, Call of the Wild's bighorn have always had horns that were just way too big and oversized compared to what they should be. This right here is much more in line with what I would expect from a bighorn sheep. They also show off the bison once again and like I said previously, the bison model looks really good. Probably one of my favorite bison models I've ever seen. And then the last one here is the moose. Now, I got to say the moose is decent, but it's not my favorite of the different animal models they have. I got to say the mule deer is probably my favorite so far from what we've seen. Uh, the moose might be kind of on the lower end, though I suppose it still is miles above any other mobile hunting game in terms of the way they look. Now let's take a look at the different uh, weapons that they have shown off. First off, we've got some sort of lever action rifle that looks about what you would expect out of a lever action. I did see that there is going to be uh, stuff like some little bit more modern weapons that you wouldn't really see in a lot of hunting games. But honestly, I, I think their goal in this is going to just be variety. So we will look at those in a little bit, but first we're kind of looking at some of the more traditional uh, type of hunting rifles. We got ourselves a lever action right here. This one appears to either be 30-30, maybe 44 Magnum, something like that. Doesn't appear to be a 45-70 as far as I can tell. Seems like it might be a little bit smaller than that, but still it's going to be a nice looking lever action. Here we've got ourselves a uh, shotgun. I'm going to assume this is probably a 12 gauge since that's what most games will put in as their first shotgun. Again, this looks really good. I, I really don't know how many times I can say that before it gets uh, repetitive, but it, it really does look good. A lot of the stuff that they're showing looks amazing. They also have another shotgun right here, though I'm not sure which one this is. The more I look at it, this actually might be the 12 gauge, but either way, there's a few different shotguns in the game. I'd say this is actually more likely the 12 gauge. That other one actually kind of looks like maybe a 410 now that I look at the barrels and the tubes. Yeah, it kind of looks like that might be a 410, and then the second one that we're showing now is probably going to be the 12 gauge. Now let's take a look at what I was talking about in regards of weapons that may not be like a typical hunting thing, but they technically are something you could use to hunt with, and I guess they've decided to put them in the game. This right here is a Desert Eagle. Now, you definitely could hunt with a Desert Eagle in real life, so... It, I, I guess it is something that's fine to be in the game. It's just something that took me by surprise a little bit. So we will have a Desert Eagle. And it's got a suppressor as well as a holographic sight. That one appears to be an EOTech, if I'm not mistaken. That might be the 553, but I'm not sure. It is some type of EOTech uh, holographic sight. And uh, it looks like we're going to have some attachments for the guns, which is really cool. I'm curious how in-depth that's going to go. Will you be able to put any type of uh, holographic or uh, red dot sight on any weapon? Will you be able to put any scope on any weapon? How is it going to work? Or will every gun have individual uh, attachments that you can put on it that are unique to that weapon? Not 100% sure, but 
So next up, let's kind of talk about the release date. You may see that in this post right here, this was when they didn't have a release date, but as of recent, they have said that this game will be coming out sometime in February. Most likely early February, but it could be clear till the end of February. They're not 100% sure on the exact day, but they are pretty confident that it will be coming out in February. So that is really awesome news. We should have our hands on this game very, very soon. Now we've got a look at uh, some more fancy looking rifles. It looks like you will be able to do like a gold barrel. I'm going to assume it's going to have the typical uh, mobile game style of customization to all of the weapons where it's like you get the gold weapon when you've leveled it up super high, similar to like in Call of Duty. It seems like that's kind of the uh, route they're going just based on the images we're seeing. Again, I don't really have any concrete information about that. so. We'll see, but it does appear like uh, some of the more high-end guns might be pretty fancy looking. And now we get a brief look at the actual uh, inventory system that they will have for your character. Looks like there will be some type of scar style DMR as well. Uh, from what we saw in the Mule Deer clip, it seems like it is a five round capacity magazine. So I'm assuming it's going to be similar to the 308 AR in Call of the Wild, just with a different look to it. So that's pretty cool. And overall, I think this looks like a pretty decent inventory system. Unfortunately, the uh, the video that they're showing here is quite uh, blurry, so I can't really tell what the ammo types are to these guns. I, I wish I could, but unfortunately, it is quite uh, blurry because it is in a lower resolution. Something else that's pretty cool about this game is you actually will be able to play multiplayer, so you'll be able to join your friends for a hunt and that is, again, going to be a first for the mobile hunting genre. You've been able to play multiplayer in different hunting games before, but not in an open world setting like this, where it'll be very similar to joining your friends on the Hunter Call of the Wild or joining your friends on Way of the Hunter. This is going to be a massive, massive step for mobile hunting games again i am just blown away at some of the stuff that they are implementing into this game it's to the point where they could release it right now and they would probably already be the best hunting game out there but instead they are still waiting another month to try and perfect everything as uh, stated in one of their posts they want the game to be perfect before it's released so they are going to do everything they can to make sure that it is in the state that they want it to be in but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief look at American Marksman. This game looks like it's going to be a pretty cool one. And again, very impressive for a mobile game. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you probably disagree. Some of you probably agree. Let me know however you feel in the comments. And also, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We're going to be playing this game when it comes out. And uh, hopefully it'll be coming out soon. But anyway, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.